The trend of tanning beds fell out of favor after warnings about skin damage. But apparently, it's making a comeback. Data from the American Can Academy of Dermatology found that 30% of Gen Zers <coughs> said they'd rather look good now, even if it means looking worse later in life. <laughs> One TikTok user <laughs> spelled it out, <coughs> posting they'd rather be hot than live ugly. They'd rather Aww. die hot. They'd yeah. rather die hot. They'd rather yeah. die hot. Crazy. You know, Clearly not having paid attention to the mirror. <laughs> Do you have any advice for these folks? Of course, these are not problems I think about. <laughs> well, you know, well, uh, black women can get a burn also. So, yes, well, yeah. that's why we yeah. don't You don't put yourself in a bed. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah we, never, we, we know. But it's not, just, it's not just tanning beds that are harmful. It's the no, sun itself. No, but this itself. is what they're talking yeah. about yeah. in terms tanning of... They're bed. talking just about the tanning bed. This, this is this uniquely stupid. Of, of dying yes. This business of... I had a, a, a friend of mine who was young. I was in her 20s. Yeah. And, like, five years ago, we were talking, and right. she said that... Uh, I said to her, if you keep doing that uh, tanning beds or the reflectors and all that stuff, you're going to look old when you're my age. And she said, when I'm your age, I won't care. Not true. And I said... <laughs> I said, when I'm, when you're my age, you're gonna care more. Exactly. Yeah. And you so, won't look well, like Joy if you go in a tanning bed. And you won't look like Joy Behar. <laughs> I go in, if I go to the beach, I wear a hazmat suit. Yeah. yeah. That's my well, tip. Well, the sun is terrible for you. I, what was shocking to me is I didn't really know so many white women wanted to look black. Like, I was, I was just kind of like, I didn't know that, like, having brown skin is, like, such a thing. It's and been a thing for years and had years. Had no idea. Years. Had no idea. Because there, there's that doctor that does did this study. She has an all-white audience. And she says, how many of you would prefer to be black? And not one person raised their hands. But and then so, we hop into a little then you booth. Hop into and a little everyone booth looks and better with brown. a little golden glow. But I think the problem here is they say, Crazy. I'd rather die ugly. But how about focus on just die? Because, like, cancer is... Skin cancer yeah. is a rampant problem. Yeah. Well, and too. I, I remember my... Uh, my grandma, uh, she passed at 93, and she had gotten marks, sun marks, and the doctor said something. She's like, I don't go in the sun. I've covered myself. He's like, these were decisions you made when you were 20. Yeah. So yeah. there is a problem here that's greater than looks, and they're missing that, and we live in a day and age of clean products that you can tan yourself yes. without the dangers like, of true. the sun. No, Gen Z, take it from a former tanning bed kid, and I'm an Arab. I didn't even need to get in it. Don't do it. It will. It, the health risks alone, melanoma and skin cancer, but also the aging. I had sun Sunspots from it. It's from like the we, tanning bed? Yeah, we did it before wow. like dances and homecoming or like you're going on a trip. It's not worth it. Sunscreen it, is your friend. I've never seen one. Is it like a coffin? You literally get into it. It's kind of like a coffin and you lay it down. And so it, just it, get it, ready it to be hot? in the coffin then. Uh, it's practice. Yeah, there's a fan, there's but a, it's hot. They, oh. We actually, we tax tanning beds because they're so yeah. unhealthy. By, yeah. by, by the way, the, the doctor that I was talking about was Dr. Jane Elliott, who did this sort yeah. of study. Whoopi has learned so much in this segment. <laughs> I learned what to talk to y'all about and what not to talk to y'all about. That's what I learned.